Cubic Labs presents Boston Blockchain Week, stepping into the future. Celebrating the creators, innovators, and heroes of blockchain and Web3. I'm Mike Joshua for Mudhouse Media, reporting from Boston Blockchain Week 2022, presented by Cubic Labs. With me now is Gabby Coos. Gabby, welcome. Thank you. I'm really excited to be here. Tell us a little bit about your background and what brings you here to Boston Blockchain Weekend. I am currently serving as the CEO of the Global Digital Asset and Cryptocurrency Association. We are an emerging self-regulatory association. You know, I always like to kind of frame a lot of what we talk about when we talk about digital assets in the understanding that we are going through a very seismic transformation in terms of the financial sector and the economy really transitioning towards what we could call sort of the digital era. And in that, it is normal to feel like maybe you don't know everything there is to know because at this point, no one does. It's still very much evolving very quickly um, in very exciting and dynamic ways. And so that's a lot of what I think this week is about is really bringing all that dynamic dynamism, all that power and energy around blockchain and digital assets and all the many opportunities that this can afford to both the city of Boston, the state of Massachusetts, and hopefully here in the United States as well. Yeah, I was going to say that's some of the importance of uh, the Boston Blockchain Week um, that you just mentioned. And truly, it's getting people together, right? We're, we're so used to being on screens and having these meetings. But talk just a little bit about getting all these like-minded people under one tent. Sure. We were very pleased and happy to announce, you know, on air today, the signing of a memorandum of understanding between our organization, the Global Digital Asset and Cryptocurrency Association and Cubic Labs. And really, some of what we're doing is really trying to bring together key stakeholders who can see blockchain technology from a multiplicity of different perspectives and can share how they are viewing so that we as a, you know, dynamic group of people and professionals can get a holistic view of where things are going. What are the emerging trends? Um, what are the key issues and challenges that we maybe need to be resolving in order to lay out sort of this next wave of innovation? And then how can, you know, businesses here in the Boston area, here in the state of Massachusetts, how can they, you know, buoy off of this to catapult into job creation, economic growth, and really social and other opportunities for the citizens of the state and city? It just seems like there's so much happening in this space and, and the future is, is, is wide open. What, uh, what are you most excited about this weekend at Boston Blockchain? Sure. Um, well, I could say I'm excited for my panel, personal plug. Um, <laughs> um, but I actually think I'm really most excited about seeing maybe some things that are even outside of my industry. You know, I was so lucky to meet with some amazing people from the healthcare industry who were talking about, you know, putting uh, digital records um, on blockchain, being able to access that f- easily, but with regards to privacy concerns and being able to really sort of leverage that to create sort of a medical future for us all that maybe works better and helps solve some of what we see when we're patients, when we're in pain, when we're suffering. And so I think that, you know, what are the things I'm most excited about are the ways in which this will touch every facet of society and really hopefully transform things for the better. Why should business leaders uh, embrace the blockchain technology generally and Boston Blockchain Week uh, specifically? So I always like to do everything with dorky um, acronyms. So I call it the three E's, right? (laughs) It is expedient, it is efficient, it is effective. So if you are watching a bottom line, if you are looking to enhance customer and client satisfaction, if you are looking to invest in next wave technologies that puts your business at the forefront of innovation, then you need to be looking at blockchain technology. And so, you know, it's those three E's that I kind of carry forward in a lot of the conversations I have, even in the finance um, and financial sector. But, you know, those three E's carry forward into just about every industry and the breadth of, you know, touch points that blockchain technology is going to have. You know, the sooner you start to expose yourself, educate yourself, and to bring some of this home into your business lines, the better it will be for you and for your business overall. Finally, how do listeners get in touch with you for more 
for more information? So we are conveniently found at our website, um, global-dca.org, and there is a form. Contact us, learn more about membership, sign up for our public policy and regulation committee meetings. Um, We're always happy to have people, and like I said, it's all about raising people up and giving people opportunities to learn and grow so that we can all benefit from the digital future. Awesome. Gabby, thanks so much. Thank you. For more on Boston Blockchain Week, go to bostonblockchainweek.com. For more about Cubic Labs, go to cubiclabs.com.